they must have gotten help from aliens alien of the gaps. If you don't know how to say, I don't know, that means you're gonna walk through life requiring answers to everything. What's gotten a lot of attention of late, deservedly, is we've had now three visitors from interstellar space. We've been looking for these puppies for decades, by the way, and none of these objects have enough energy to escape the gravitational pull of the sun. The sun owns them. It's the solar system. So, we learn about the planets, we go there, we land on them, we land on the moons, we landed on comets, we get data. So we get a sense of what these objects are. Form our, our hypotheses, we have some theories that get tested. That's how science works. Now we have a visitor from another star system. We expect to show up at some point. Here's the solar system in orbit around the center of the galaxy, drifting through space. By the way, models for the formation of our solar system suggest that we might have been born with many more planets than eight. You get ejected with higher speed that could be contained by the sun. They're out there somewhere. We think that happens in every star system that formed. So some of that junk at some point is likely to pass through our star system, the solar system. Okay, three objects have been found in the last decade, okay? Three of them, and they've had some anomalous features. Fun, I love it.